Hi, everyone. I'm Christy Sheehy, the CEO and co-founder of Sea Light Technologies. And I'm here today with our Chief Medical Officer, Jackie Fees. Jackie, can you tell us why you use eye tracking in your current clinic? I brought eye tracking into my clinic years ago because I love the idea of having an objective way to assess eye movement in my exam. Unfortunately, I've been frustrated and disappointed with how it really works in my clinical practice. For most of the technologies right now in the market, they use a corneal reflection or they use the pupil, which is a dynamic structure to track eye motion. And because of this, a lot of times the movement data can be influenced by things like eyelashes, dry eye, or room illumination, which makes the eye movement measurements unreliable and unrepeatable in some of my patients, which can be incredibly frustrating. Additionally, some of the technologies that use the pupils require a calibration step in nine fields of gaze. So if I have a patient who can't move their eyes in nine fields of gaze because they have a cranial nerve palsy or a, a nystagmus, then all of a sudden I can't even use the technology in a group of patients that I actually really want to use it in. And that's really why we created the Retitrack. We wanted clinicians to have an objective and repeatable way to look at eye motion. And so our FDA cleared 510K device, the Retitrack, it records the retina as opposed to the pupil to monitor eye movement over time. And we lock onto and target cone photoreceptors and we use these microscopic structures to track how the eye moves over time all the way down to 30 microns. And so really, sea light is enabling clinicians to see fixational eye motion for the very first time. 